Hello, I just want to quickly show you how to create your own QR code. A QR code is really great for students who maybe don't have a Chromebook or a laptop because the information can be accessed with a phone or tablet camera. All they have to do is scan the QR code with any camera and it will allow it will take them to the information that they need. So this is really great for some of your students who maybe don't have access to all of the technology that some of our students do, but you still want to provide them with the same resources. So when I have when I create a QR code, I most often use this website, QR code generator.com. There's lots of options on here for free, which make it really great because I'm not trying to pay for anything. And I also don't have to create an account to use lots of their features. So when I am creating a QR code, of course, it's telling me to enter a website. So I have got a website loaded and I'm going to go and copy the, Q, the website link and paste it right into that box. I am linking it to video content. It's giving me some other options, and I don't want to use those right now. So then over here, I can get really creative and change up the shape and look of my QR code. I can add a message so that students know what to do. I can change the shape of the QRs, those little dots in the middle. I can change the color so that it's really fun. That's the color I always love to make mine because it's really eye-catching. And I could also add a logo. So it, this could go in the middle and it could be a music note. It could be a picture of you. It could be anything. So, um, <clears throat> or it can be the words scan me as another reminder. So again, lots of options on creating your QR code and you could play around with these for a really long time. And if that's upload your own is where you would go to add a picture that you have on your computer. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to download it. And when I download it, it's going to go straight onto my computer. At that point, I can insert it in a Google Doc. I could um, share it in an email. I could print it off and post it on a packet or around the building. We love to use these for scavenger hunts within our school and students walk around and scan it and they figure out the clue for the next thing. So you can print these off and they do work laminated if you want to use them over and over again. Just make sure you know what they're going to send students to. So right on the back of it, if it's going to be something that you save. So I'm going to click, click download. And it's telling me some options. Um, I don't want to sign up, but there are some other things that I can do. So it's just giving me this ad. So I'm going to exit out. And if you see down here in the bottom left corner, it's showing me my download. So I can click and open it and see it. And from there, I can print it or insert it into um, wherever I need it to be. It's taken a minute to load. But that is how you create a QR code. Again, it's a really great resource for students who don't have a Chromebook or a laptop because they can do this through their phone. And there is my QR code. So I can print it off. I can put it in a document to be included in a packet. I can use this around my classroom so that students could learn something and stations with the QR code. Lots and lots of ways to use this resource.